Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking fried potato slices with onions. So let's begin. Okay, so with our lunch today we're going to be having fried eggs which is a perfect lunch for me anyway. So what I'll do first is start off by peeling all the potatoes. And then we'll give them a quick wash. Then we'll put them on this cloth and pat them dry. And next, we'll slice them up. Let's see. Into wheels. So like that. I think they're about, I don't know, half a centimetre. Wait, they stick to the knife. And we'll put them on here. So let's slice the four potatoes up. Two to go. Once I finish this, I'll start off with the onion also. Wait, that fell on the floor. Last one. Okay, so the potatoes are done. We'll start off with the onion. Um, let me see. Right, let's chuck this in the bin. That's so that it doesn't slip. You probably know that by now. And the onion, well, you put in as much as you want, basically. I'm going to put in half of this big, big one. Because it's only me that's going to be eating it. Let's, let's cut this. Is it a stalk? Don't know. And I'm going to cut it like that. Is it Julian? Do they call it Julian? Don't know. But anyway, you can cut it. Oh, that was close. You can cut it however you want, you know. Right. 
So I'll just leave that there. I'll put this in the fridge. Right, so the next step will be to put a pan on the stove. The larger the better. The shallow, well shallow, I don't know. It's a pan. And we'll turn this up to... I'm going to put it on full whack. On uh, number nine. And <clears throat> I'm going to cover the bottom with good old olive oil. Don't be shy. Olive oil is good for you. And you know what? I'm going to put in these three potatoes there because once they start bubbling I'll know the oil is hot so that I can add the rest. And I've got here already a dish with a couple of paper towels, kitchen towels. So when the potatoes and onions are ready, I'll put them on there. Right, so these potatoes are starting to bubble away, so I'm going to add all of them. And this same oil I'll be using to fry the eggs. Right, I'm going to also add the onion. And I'm going to add some, sprinkle in some paprika. Sweet paprika, spicy paprika. It doesn't matter. It's your choice, isn't it? And I'm going to add a bit of um, salt. Though, I'll probably add more later. We'll see. We shall see. And basically this, let me turn the extractor fan on. This, we're going to move it about, I'll show you in a minute. Every five minutes roughly, we're just going to cook them. You know, soften them up and slightly brown them. You can also add some black pepper if you wish. It's entirely up to you. So as I said, about every five minutes, we'll just move everything about, you know. Remember, it's on full of heat. If you've got a good pan, it shouldn't stick. If you've got a rubbish pan, I wouldn't bother doing this because it would be a nightmare. Ah, get in there. I'm going to turn this down to number seven. That's medium, medium high. <clears throat> I will stir it, we'll turn it over again in another five minutes. And I nearly forgot, I'm going to add a bit more salt now that I've turned them over, you know. You can add the salt later on at the end, but I think it's easier because they're sliced potatoes, they're not like the normal chips or the small cubed ones that are easier to move about, you know, when they're here. It's up to you anyway. Do what you want. You're the one that's going to be eating them. And I'll give these a move about again. Cool, these are beautiful. Yes, sir. Okay. So, as you can see, this is ready. Look at that, nice and toasted. All nice and soft. Oh, this is gorgeous. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do, I'll 
after this, I'm not going to, I'm not going to put it on the plate at the end. I'm not going to serve it on this at the end because my wife's nearly here. So I'll just, just dish it up separately, you know, on each plate and do the eggs. Well, thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Cheerio.